Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. In today's video, I am doing another white negative space pour, delivering paint via a tray. Um, actually, two trays. I am painting on a really large canvas. Well, large for me anyways. It's uh, 5 feet by 30 inches. And uh, this size actually made it really difficult for me to uh, videotape myself uh, because I have really limited equipment for the recording. Um, it's basically my iPhone uh, with an elastic around it stuck on a stick. So you can imagine the uh, box piling and the MacGyvering that I had to do to get the canvas in the frame. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the tray loading into the frame, um, so you miss that part, but I learned a really valuable lesson this time around, so I really wanted to share this video with you. So, by the way, this portion of the video is super sped up. Um, it just took forever to get the white paint evenly on there. I really wanted to uh, use the minimal amount needed because like even with the minimal amount it, it took like almost a liter of Floetrol to do this. Anyways, so I think I knew this before in the back of my head but it became really apparent with this painting. Uh, you get different cells depending on which way the paint exits the tray. So like that first initial sweep uh, the direction of the paint allowed for some really awesome cells. And then on the back sweep, uh, it was completely different. There weren't as many cells, and it kind of really changed uh, in appearance. Which is interesting. I, I mean, I, I think that it allows for that really 3D look. And um, it's going to be something that I'm going to play with definitely in the future. I mean... Uh, I think that it, it just really adds to the overall look of the painting. Anyways, I think this one ended up looking pretty cool. Uh, I, I kind of think it looks like a alien jellyfish or something like that. Um, and you can see close up here um, the cells that I was getting. Uh, that first initial little bit there, that's my most favorite part of the painting. And then uh, as we go along the ribbon, uh, you can kind of see how the cells are changing a little bit. But as soon as we get up to that curve and that fold, you can tell how much um, the paint just looks completely different. Um, so that's pretty interesting. I think that's about it. Uh, this is just a short little video, a, a short one, but a good one, I think. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure that you've subscribed to my channel. And also make sure that you hit the bell button for notifications when I post new videos. Um, thanks for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Bye.